Hello, welcome to the next uh, section of this uh, work. This is for the production side of things. Uh, talking about how I'm going to make concept art, uh, I feel like there's some certain things I would need. So, first thing would be the supplies. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous part, I would be taking, uh, I think I mentioned this at least, I would be taking work I have uh, made in a uh, real life using art supplies and taking that into a digital format such as Photoshop. Now that leads on to the software I'd need. So the software I'd need is Photoshop and I would also need to get Google Chrome or essentially just a web browser but I'm using Google Chrome as an example. Now the reason why I need Photoshop is obviously because I'm going to be using that as a main way of making the content and the reason why I would need something like Google Chrome is to uh, get help and research things. Uh, digital colouring, for instance, I've been looking up on recently and uh, honestly it's very interesting and you know I could use that if I get stuck at some point and I need help. Uh, and I talk a little bit about my influences here because I feel like they're actually quite important at this stage of production. You see, the influences on certain things I'm making, such as the, uh, the main characters, I can look at for inspiration, I can look at my influences for inspiration so it's just certain things like kingdom hearts for the style of hair and eyes and like that manga anime approach and things like full metal alchemist for the style of armor or for the style of like how a body should sit on a person because uh, i feel that's pretty important in concept art uh, i hope you enjoyed bye